Howdy people. Okay, I've got another one from uh, Ronnie from the Chili Review. And check this out. Nice big pod. Beautiful smell to it. One I've been wanting to do for a while. It's a ghost yaki peach. It's not a not a really floral smell or, or perfumey, but a little, just a little bit of that. Not not super strong. It's another Giancarlo Fatter from Fatter's Peppers um, cross. But it's got, it's got a really nice smell to it. It's not, not like I said, it's a little bit floral, but it's fantastic. It's a white ghost cross with a, a ghost yaki jammy. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to get into it. Yeah, not a lot of seeds. Really love the shape of it. Crunchy, thick skin. The walls on it were quite quite thick as well, so it had a had a you know nice solid feel to it. But really crisp, really crisp when I bit into it. It's been in the fridge for about a week, but fantastic flavour too. Even though it smelled a little bit floral, it's it's a really nice sweet pod. Um, and the ghost yaki peach, um, not to be mistaken for a peach ghost jammy, but both of them have been around since about 2016, 17, something like that. Absolutely fantastic, this pod. Um, not, not super hot. I was thinking it would be a little bit hotter. Um, white ghosts that I've had haven't been as uh, hot as a red or other coloured um, ghost. Um, but absolutely fantastic. I, I, I'm getting a little bit on the outside of the lips, um, tip of my tongue, a little bit in the throat. But it, it's, not, it's not super hot, I can tell that. You know, the yaki side of it, I've, I've, I've reviewed plenty of yakis over the last couple of years. Um, you know, they're basically just a, a variation on a boot, originally crossed with a filius blue. But nowhere near the heat of, of that. Um, Yeah, really, really beautiful flavour though. I mean, I, I, I would love to put these in the oven. I mean, I'd, I'd put this on salad, no worries. It's sweet enough to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Bug flew in me. <coughs> um, you might be able to notice we've got clouds over today. It's We've had plenty of rain here, or at least, um, you know, enough that the chilies have been really happy. I've got a second flush of flowers and, and a few extra pods, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely love this pod. Thanks, Ronnie. Um, I dare say I'll end up getting some seeds of this and, you know, I might grow this. You know, for someone who's not into the super hot pods, you know, this is still hot. But, um, you know, as far as out of 10 goes, I'd, I'd say this is about 7 out of 10. So for someone who's, you know, just starting the super hots, this would be fantastic. But the flavour, absolutely beautiful. Another one that I'd put in the oven, roast it. Um, but, but like I said, salad, you know, that sort of, uh, if you had sweet fruit in a salad, it would go perfectly with that. Um, didn't get a lot of seeds in it, which was great. Um, and yeah, look, I really, really nice and crisp when I bit into it. I mean, it was a big pod. You know, I thought that would scrape down the back of my throat and give me a bit of a bit of a throat burn. But to be honest, there's almost nothing there. All on the front of the mouth again. Um, fantastic. Really love this one. Yeah, I reckon 7 out of 10 for heat. 
already easing up. Um, but just, just the flavour. I, I really got to give it 10 out of 10 for flavour. Yeah. Okay, well, I won't make this one too long, people. Um, 7 out of 10 for heat, 10 out of 10 for flavour. Absolutely fantastic. I imagine people would be able to make beautiful sauces with this. Um, but for me, you know, fresh off the plant, even just, just fantastic. All right, people, have a fantastic day. I'll catch you later.